Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephanie Hague. I'm the Director of Community Relations at the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island. Um, okay. Today, um, we are grateful to several supporting groups joining together to demand the Bristol Warren Regional School District change their 2021 school calendar. It is fitting that we are standing here today in front of United Brothers Synagogue that was founded in 1900 by Eastern European immigrants who were fleeing anti-Semitism in their homelands. Most often my work is done behind the scenes with many of you in quiet partnership with other faith leaders, elected officials, coalition members. However, sometimes when something remains to be solved quietly, um, even after a quiet advocacy, we have to come forward. Um, people here today have written letters, petitioned school committee members, um, the NEA brought forth a grievance, and they were all met with no changes. Jewish educators and families are not asking for anything egregious. They are simply asking for their first day of school not to be on the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, Rosh Hashanah. While I'm extremely proud of our Jewish community in Rhode Island, there are only about 20,000 Jews in this state. That's about 2% of the population. Um, the American Jewish population at its highest is estimated at about 7 million, which is about 1.5% of the American population. Minority groups will rarely form a majority on any local school committee or in any local um, state body. But however, our nation was still built with an intention to protect these minorities regardless. Jews are placed in the uncomfortable position of relying on those who are overtly demonstrating their lack of concern for our basic rights. And that is just simply not okay. This is all happening in tandem to a disturbing ride of rise in anti-Jewish rhetoric, vandalism, and violence in our nation. And data shows that three quarters of American Jews feel that there's more anti-Semitism today than there was five years ago. And that more than half of American Jews feel less safe than they did in 2016. We must do everything in our power to build a safe, thriving, and welcoming learning environment for all in our state. Today you will hear remarks from a handful of diverse community leaders to illustrate why these changes are necessary. I also just want to take a moment to acknowledge our local elected officials here today and we thank you for your support. Uh, Carly Reich, Tim Sweeney, and Representative Jason Knight. Thank you for your presence. I also want to acknowledge other local faith leaders who are here today in solidarity.